film about superpowers, which isn't set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the DC Extended Universe. Never thought I'd see this coming. Hello once again, watchers of good movies. My name is Nick Powell, and this is once again coming from my apartment. Now today, we are going to be talking about the film Midnight Special. I knew very little about this film going into it. I, I did not end up seeing a single trailer for it before going into this movie. And I definitely recommend doing that if you have the chance before going to see this movie. I don't know how much the trailer spoils, but just, just knowing very, very little about this movie going into it, I think it made the experience a lot more interesting and just had me very just engaged throughout the whole film as a result. Now this movie starts out in, in kind of a mystery form. We see Michael Shannon and Joel Edgerton. They're these two friends and they have Michael Shannon's son with them. The kid is wearing goggles, he has his earmuffs on, and can tell if there's something strange about him and there's an Amber Alert out for him. These two guys, they've, they've basically taken him from his home and they're trying to get him somewhere. You don't really know why and you can tell from the get-go these guys are not villains. These are not our villains for the film because <clears throat> there's just no, no real tone or essence to that statement. Part of the film is focused on them getting Michael Shannon's son to wherever he needs to be by a certain date and they eventually have his mother, Kirsten Dunst, join them and uh, then we get to see kind of the other side of things where we have like the FBI trying to find this kid and in that we see Adam Driver. A lot of these actors I was not expecting to see show up in this movie and I again trailer not seeing that really helps a lot because these are really well-known really good actors in this movie and so that helps elevate it just up to another level than it would be otherwise. Now as I said there's there's this, there's this really cool mystery aspect to the movie itself which just allows for a lot of intrigue throughout the course of the film because eventually throughout the course of the film you see that this kid has these these abilities. You don't really know what makes them up. You don't know how he came about having them, if he was born with them, all that stuff. It becomes revealed over time, but he has this light shining out of his eyes. He cannot control it. And apparently it's giving people these visions or at least these feelings of comfort. And again, you don't really know what to make of this. The place where he lives has deem this as a, a sign of God and this the speakings of God because he starts speaking in tongues every so often and it's just this very interesting mystery element to it. I really liked seeing Michael Shannon especially with his son as this this very accepting father. When things go awry he does not yell at the kid, he does not tell him to suppress his abilities. He he just tries to comfort him, tell him that it's gonna be okay because he knows the kid cannot control his powers and it's a very cool thing to see and it's very refreshing not to see people be like oh he's a threat other than like the government that does happen in this movie but like the people close to him they don't see him as a danger and I really really liked that. The performances in this film are all fantastic especially the relationship between again Michael Shannon and his son. His son's name is Anton in the movie and the relationship it worked really really well and it was one of the best parts of the film for me to see. Joel Edgerton also did a very very good performance in this movie because there are times when it's Michael Shannon and Christian Dunst and the kid who plays Anton all together as this family because they are a family and you just kind of see him in the background as these, as these people who he's trying to protect and get from point A to point B. Am Driver also did a very good job. He works in the NSA in this movie and I thought that he did a really nice job in the movie. I love, I love the fact that he's in more roles now. My only real issue with the film is that there's, there's a part of the film, like a subplot, which is seemingly set up towards the very beginning of the movie, which doesn't really have a good conclusion. It doesn't really wrap it up very, very well. And I won't really go into more details on it, but I just felt like it kind of happened. It shows up a few points, and then it just kind of fizzles away, and we don't really see anything else from them. And so I would like to see a little bit more of that, at least towards the end of the movie, in regards to just kind of a conclusion. But I thought that the finale for this film, like the last 20 minutes, was just fantastic. I absolutely loved those last 20 minutes. because Everything is just moving towards this big conclusion. I thought it worked really, really nicely. I liked all the performances. I thought it at least set up something of a sequel at this film blows up or at least leaves a lot of questions to be wondered at the end, very end of the film and I I just really really was impressed with Midnight Special. Again I knew nothing about it going into it and I think that's the best way to enjoy this movie. In an age where sci-fi films are already so established either by a franchise or just by 
the certain studio which is trying to develop them. I really like seeing a project which just does something very, very different. It takes a kid with powers. It doesn't have to be a superhero. It's just this kid with abilities trying to get to from point A to point B and just basically experiencing and just kind of learning how to use his abilities. I thought it worked really, really well. And I, I was just very, very impressed with this movie. It kept me engaged for the whole entire time. And it's it's well worth seeing if you have the opportunity. Guys, those are my thoughts on Midnight Special. Definitely check it out if you have the opportunity. But those are just my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Did you like the film as much as I did? Did you hate it more than I did? Let me know. Like, fair comment, and subscribe once again if you so choose it. Appreciate it immensely. And as always, my people, my name is Nick Pell. And once again, keep on watching.